It's June 7, 2011. I want to show you here the slightly lighter green color here in the approach and the uh, strip along the edge here on the right side of the fairway. You can see the lighter green color versus the darker blue green color and the rest of the fairway. This line right here that we're going to walk down to my right is the area that was not treated with the Primo Embark. To the left had the Primo Embark applications that set it back earlier on and then now we're kind of witnessing the rebound effect apparently in the darker blue green color so it's fascinating material how this stuff behaves. The other thing that we notice is that when it's going through its phytotoxic stage, we'll call it, that the poania tended to be um, favored. In other words, the vent got hurt more than the poania. We were thinking maybe we we're speculating that the foliar uptake was better and the bent grass being a wider leaf blade. So here you can see poania here is a little bit of flowering taking place, but um, here you can see the poania. It's a much finer leaf blade, more upright, versus the bent that lays over. And you can see how that would absorb more material, have more surface area for the material to work. But now it flips. So when you get in the rebound stage, the bent grass actually gets favored, and the poania stays uh, stunted, for lack of better words, uh, longer than the bent. And then you'll see this bent take off so to speak and these runners that I have to try to now manage the grain here once I feel comfortable with the amount of bent grass because this is the way we encourage bent over the pole in the fairways is through this mechanical propagation I call it where these um, the bent gets to lay over and eventually create these little runners and you'll see eventually the uh, little white roots that will develop out of these nodes and then the plant continues to uh, outcompete the poania here. Here's a pretty lengthy runner here. Maybe we can see a little root. You can see one coming right out of that node right there. So, um, just very interesting. That embark is just interesting material. But the lesson we learned this year, when we got super saturated conditions, you got to go way back. Of course, it's a hard thing to predict when you're applying this material early in the spring, weather patterns aren't well developed and who knows what kind of storms you might get several weeks after application. And that's what you're kind of trying to second guess because when you get saturated soils, it seems like the embark is aggravated and the ethylene that's produced naturally maybe combined with the ethylene that embark turns into combined gives you kind of a double whammy. But here's that line again. To the right is the lighter green, non-treated. To the left, darker green. Fairways are beautiful. Here, JD just pulled out a plug. We've been trying to assess the roots here, in the non-treated area versus a treated area. Um, it's hard to say for certain, but to us, one thing's for sure: if there if there is no difference. Um, you know, the embark is not hindering root growth, but we, we're thinking that we see more roots in the treated area than the non. This plug shows it here too. These are air fire holes. You can see how happy they are growing in the old air fire holes. Here's two new ones from the vertidrain. But the point is, you can see this has got a good healthy root mass, but there's more in this plug. So. Again, not very scientific, but just through observation, one thing we feel pretty comfortable saying that the embark does not seem to hold back the uh, root development within the plant.